maybe even into their countries. Amazing. So this is a group of eight lady boss girls in 11th and 12th grade. That's 15, 16, 17, 18 years old, right? Yeah. That have robotics clubs. Amazing. And you are actually in your own towns and your communities giving um, lectures and workshops for other youth and other people on robotics. What makes you so excited about robotics? Can someone tell me? Feel free to jump in. Okay. Well, I just think that being involved in robotics is so important, not just if you're interested in STEM, because you get so many great opportunities to look at opportunities in STEM uh, by interacting with STEM professionals and being able to build and program a robot which is amazing, but you also get to learn skills outside of that. Um, you get to learn presentation skills. Um, I've learned how to make a business plan, which I never thought I would learn how to do in robotics, but there's so many valuable life skills that you can learn in robotics. Right, and you have a mentorship program too, so you're working with people that are already in their careers. So there's this beautiful moment where you're both working with people in your local community and teaching them about robotics, and then you've got mentors across industries in Minnesota that are also mentoring you on business plans and pitching. It's a really great community-wide system. Um, what's an exciting project that you're working on right now that maybe is helping us solve for the sustainable development goals that are behind us? Yeah, so right now I'm on the um, Blue Twilight FRC team, and we've had 27 camps, uh, free camps for kids um, to really help out children in fragile situations, which is kind of SDG 17, um, helping out kids who would not really have that exposure uh, to STEM. And we, a lot of us have taught the classes. We teach them how to code, teach them how to CAD robots and stuff. So that's a project that I'm really excited about. Amazing. I think we should, I kind of wanted to come to Minnesota now and get a tutorial on coding and building a robot myself. Um, and you guys have done a lot of work. You've traveled internationally to Poland, to China. Can someone tell me a little bit about that and some of the awards that you've won? Um, we traveled to China for the World um, Adolescent Robotics Conference, and we uh, got to go over there and meet other people who had similar interests as us, and we competed with our robot, and then we brought the things that we learned back to the United States. I know that FRC has done other things in Poland where they teach workshops um, for robotics, if you guys want to share about that. Oh yeah, for sure. So the past two years, we've actually traveled to Poland, Germany, um, and France, and we've also reached out and helped start some teams in 16 other countries as well. Um, but really when we go to those countries, we're trying to find sustainable ways to get those programs started so they can grow themselves. So we'll kind of get them off the ground, teach them the basics, so then they can start and teach other people as well. Amazing. And how did you all start? Um, so the Green Girls, we started when we were in fourth grade um, as an FLL team, which um, we would build little Lego robots. And we started through the company Thomson Reuters. And then as we got older, we switched over to our current program, which is First Tech Challenge, where we build metal robots. And um, we've been a team uh, since then, and we've added some new members along the years. But you know, right now, we're a pretty close group. and. You know, we want to just expand our program, and that's why we have so many opportunities to teach STEM, because our team's really big, so we don't have room, you know, to always add more people, but we want to expand it to everyone, so, you know, we have programs for that. Yeah, something to mention about our programs, uh, we go out into the community um, as Green Girls Robotics, and we develop curriculum about um, different letters of STEM, and we teach them to underserved groups such as... Um, uh, kids at the Pacer Center for Children with Disabilities and foster kids in our local district and it's just amazing to see those kids because they won't they usually aren't exposed to STEM and when they're given the opportunities that we give them through the activities that we create and we teach they're just amazing like they're brilliant kids. <laughs> I can see your passion that you guys are all so excited about robotics and then also giving back to your community and making sure other people are learning about STEM. Why do you think, I'm going to toss it over, make sure everyone has a chance to speak. Why do you think STEM is so important, particularly for girls and what you're doing? 
Um, well, there are so many women that aren't exposed to STEM normally, and they just don't really get the chance. For us, we started so young, which has been absolutely incredible, because when you get to about middle school or to a certain age, there tends to be a stigma around STEM where it's a man's thing. You don't go out and you don't build things and get your hands dirty. So I think it's really incredible to just be able to expose it to women, to tell them that they can do this, it's not hard, you learn it, and to be able to spread it to everyone because it gives you so many opportunities, you can go so many places, you can help so many others, it just kind of keeps expanding and multiplying. Go ahead. Along with that, our team really focuses on reaching out to middle school aged girls because this is when women tend to stray away from STEM, so we really want to get them passionate and involved at this age where most women stop being interested in STEM. So really just reaching out to that age group has been a big deal for our team too. Could I add to that? Sure. Um, yeah, just for like a personal story, when I was in fourth grade, um, I got invited to join the Green Girls and I didn't really know anything about science or technology. And it's really like, that's it really shows that it's important to get people started young because I don't think I would be interested in like science and technology now if I wasn't exposed in fourth grade, so it's really important. Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, so our team um, actually has this WIRES program, which is Women in Robotics Empowering Sisters, but we really try to focus on getting out to the community, so WIRES does about 15 events a year or so, and then we also go out to other events too to get girls interested, but we really try to host camps too to get more girls, so fourth and fifth grade, they're just so excited when they come to the robotics camp. And one of the reasons Green Girls was founded as an all-girls team was because some of the members, some of the original members were on a co-ed FLL team beforehand, but they found that they were often pushed to the side or told to like go make the presentation or the poster boards when they wanted to program and build the robots. So that's why Green Girls started off as an all-girls uh, FLL team, and we've just continued with that. And what does FLL mean? Oh, FLL stands for First Lego League. Um, it's um, a program that's a part of the bigger FIRST program. So there's FLL, uh, FTC, which is First Tech Challenge, which is what the Green Girls are a part of now. And then there's FRC, which is First Robotics Competition, competition which is what uh, Blue Twilight 2220 is a part of. And we've got two teams up here, some on both teams. We have Green Girls Robotics and... Uh, Blue Twilight 2220. Yeah. All right, I got the numbers right. I'm really <laughs> proud of that. <laughs> um, well, that's really exciting. What does that look like? What does the FLC or other things look like internationally? Is it the same structure, let's say, in Poland or China? Let's see. Um, not at all, actually. Uh, the U.S. is really lucky because um, they really focus, well, we focus on academics, but we also focus on extracurricular activities. And even what we've heard today here that, like, um, you really learn so much more like when you're outside of classes like talking and having these discussions um, but in other countries like Europe and all we've found that that's actually like one of the places where robotics really isn't a thing because they're so focused on academics and in India too like um, the girls there like they don't they're really not encouraged to get involved in robotics at all because that's just not the culture so one thing we've been trying to focus is on how do you change that culture like even last night we're having the, the discussion, like, how do we get in there and how do we change the culture? Have you met anybody today here at the Youth Forum that's inspired you or you've had a good connection with to help bridge that gap internationally? Mm -hmm. um, well, I had a discussion with someone from Saudi Arabia actually earlier, um, and she was, like, really excited about all the work we're doing with getting girls especially involved in STEM because We've even noticed, like, in the U.S., like, there's a huge lack with that because it's, it's unbelievable. But um, I think there's a lot of people trying to work towards improving that, and we're finding really innovative ways to um, solve those problems. Amazing. Have you guys ever heard of the, the concept called Girl Hero or hashtag Girl Hero on social media? It's where you pick a girl and you're saying they're my hero, like Malala. I think you guys are all my girl heroes. <laughs> You're really inspiring me, and um, and I'm just wondering if there's anybody, a mentor that you've looked up to that's helped shape um, your future, or is there a girl that you've worked with that is your girl hero, if anyone can share? Um, well, I would like to give a little shout out to our wonderful coaches, because without them, we wouldn't be here today. 
they were able to step out, form a team of rambunctious fourth graders and help us get exposed to something that we wouldn't normally get into. I wanted to be an author and a um, illustrator and that before I got into robotics and we've just been exposed to so much because of them. I'm so thankful for that because because of our coaches like a lot of us now want to go out start our own teams and coach our own teams and be able to do the same thing for other girls all over the world. So thank you to you guys. They're sitting right in front of us in the audience, <laughs> beaming, <laughs> as am I. Um, I'm hoping you'll adopt me and I can just come out to Minnesota and start to learn robotics. It's a little late, but, <laughs> but yeah, late. never too late. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so I guess my last question for all of you would be, what's next? Where will we find you next? What's the next project that you're working on? What's exciting for you? Some of you are going off to college next year. If you could each go down, say your name and what's what you're focused on next or what you're excited about next that would be great um i'm erica and something i'm really excited about is our team has something called the green girl stem foundation which we are using to fundraise money so that we can give grants to um, girls who need it to pursue their love of stem and we can also give these grants to different ftc teams that need the money otherwise they wouldn't be able to be a team and then for me personally, I'm really excited for after high school to go out into the professional STEM world and actually really get involved. And um, I hope to be a biomedical engineer. So I'm really excited to pursue that. Amazing. I'll see you back here in 10 yeah. years <laughs> as a doctor. Um, well, I'm Katie Hendrickson. I'm from Team 2020 Blue Twilight. Uh, so my plans for next year is I'm actually going to go into computer science. So. Uh, someday I hope to kind of work at like a tech company, but one thing I wanted to focus on, especially in my career, is making sure those big com tech companies are like doing a lot of outreach and getting the underserved community. Um, for our team, the next thing is for FRC is like continual, it's kind of like the high school robotics thing, so uh, we'll continue doing tons of outreach. This year we've done over 100 events and also just increasing those numbers and reaching out more. Uh, my name is Olivia, and I'm also on Blue Twilight. Um, next year, I'll be going to college. Not sure where yet, but hopefully New York. And Fingers crossed, New York. <laughs> <laughs> um, undecided major, but I really want to focus on shattering glass ceilings. Um, that's really important for me, so women involvement in whatever I choose to do. Amazing. So we've got a hashtag, STG Live, hashtag shattering, shattered ceiling. Um, I'm Rebecca Lundquist, and... I'm excited for my robotics team. Um, I'm excited for our next few seasons and our last season. Um, I really hope that we can work hard and make it to the world championships again. And um, for me personally, what I'm excited for, I'm excited for college. Um, I'm not sure where I want to go, but I know I want to go into science and fingers crossed I can work for NASA. <laughs> That's the dream. I think we have a lot of recruiters tuning into this feed also. <laughs> My name is Shelly Franklin, and um, I'm super excited for the Green Girl STEM Foundation. I'm just beyond excited to see where it goes, along with um, the events that we've been doing monthly with the Pacer Center and our Dakota County foster children, to watch them grow in their love for STEM and watch them go and succeed in the world and just the knowledge that they've gained. But also for me personally, I'm excited for college, and I really just want to pursue spreading STEM and engineering throughout the world. I love traveling and I love STEM. So if I like have the ability to go out and promote FIRST worldwide, that would just be the most ideal thing in the world. Um, I'm Grace Hansen and um, the next step for Green Girls, I think, is like Erica said, the Green Girls STEM Foundation and making sure that we um, as a team make sure sure that girls um, have the same opportunities that we had when we were younger and um, I think that um, when I'm older I want to keep um, mentoring and um, helping other teams because I want to see um, kids have the same opportunities that we've had personally um, I'm excited for college because I would like to be a mechanical engineer and eventually an entrepreneur so I'm excited to use the skills that I've gotten in robotics and take that to a business of my own I'm Claire Myers I'm also on the Green Girls and um, like Grace said and Erica said our the next step for Green Girls is the Green Girls STEM Foundation and um, we are really excited really passionate for that uh, foundation and um, 
personally, I'm excited for college. Um, I don't know what major yet, but um, something in science. And um, I want to also continue to mentor and um, to help girls um, get into STEM. Uh, I'm Zoe Berg, and I'm also on the Green Girls. Um, so one thing that I think a lot of us will end up doing, whether we realize it or not, is just to continue to spread advocacy for robotics, whether we're s still together as friends, as a team, or just alone, and um, always inspiring girls. Um, me personally, I want to be a mechanical engineer, similar to many of these other people. The dream is to work at Disney or Universal Studios making robots for them, which is really cool, but also just increasing advocacy all the time for everything that is important. Amazing. So I'll see you at Harry Potter World next year. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yes. Well, this was such an inspiring panel. Um, I completely agree with you. We need to keep spreading the advocacy around STEM, around the sustainable development goals, how we can all work together to lift up girls in underserved communities. And people don't have access to, to STEM and that kind of training. I wish I had that when I was younger. I'm fully moving to Minnesota. <laughs> for a brief period of time. I love New York, but um, we'll all be in touch. And I hope next time we see you here that you actually bring a robot with you and we can play around with it. Um, how do we get in touch? We Green Girls, should we Google Green Girls? Um, yeah, so you can visit our website, um, greengirlsrobotics.com. And actually we, um, we, like the STEM classes we teach, we posted all our material from those. So if you'd wanna you know, check out some material and learn more about STEM, that's on there, or you could visit, visit, uh, visit us at Twitter, at GG Robotics. Um, so if you go to our website, that has all of our contact information. So it's just Team 2220, Blue Twilight. Yeah. Awesome. Well, everyone, let's wave bye to our international audiences. Give us your lady boss pose. Mine is always the strong arm. And thanks, everyone, for tuning in.